Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you. Welcome. Sure. We have today we have uh, Rodrigo, Daniel, Diego, Anthony, Rebecca, Stefania, or oh, Stephanie, Rodrigo, Daniel. Sorry, uh, in Kimberly, Kimberly, Nolasco. Okay, everybody, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Me too. Okay. How was your weekend? Was it good? We think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay, that's great. Okay, everybody, we're going to begin. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. Let's begin. Okay, everyone, can you see the screen I'm showing? Hello? <laughs> we have eight participants now. Yes, we can see them. Okay, good. Okay, let's get started. So um, everybody, welcome. This is uh, Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3, Spanish. And again, that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Everybody be welcome to this class. This is Intermediate 3, this is Session 5, and today is September 12, 2022. So welcome once again, and good evening. Let's begin. Well, do you remember the topic from last time? What was the topic? ¿En qué tema nos quedamos? What was the topic? Let's see, who remembers? Mm -hmm. Kimberly? Without a passive, with by, and without by. Okay, that is true. But it's not the topic of the last class. Oh. But it's true. We saw that last week. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, any other ideas you might have? Do you remember the topic? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, well, let's take a look. Don't worry. Uh, we have the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress at a past, in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. So um, as you saw it in the platform, and I'm going to show you the platform right now, this is 2.1, okay, right here. There's a video explained by Miss uh, Jessica right here. Um, I hope you have seen the video. Okay, and uh, here's a little bit of what it's in the video. This is a timeline. Okay, there is an earlier action and a later action. Okay, you say, for example, I was reading a book when you came. So there is an action in progress, which is I was reading a book. And there is an action that interrupts the other action in progress. And this is uh, you came. But don't worry, we're going to explain this in more detail in a few seconds. And again, this is past continuous versus past simple. We use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. And we use the simple past for a completed action. You have some examples. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. And while I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. So those are some examples. But again, as usual, I'm going to give you some more information. This is a review of uh, the last class. We use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Okay, these actions are have finished. Okay, they are complete. Okay, they are not in progress. They finished. So question is, what did you do last weekend? Y justo acabamos de pasar el fin de semana, una oportunidad perfecta para que me cuenten qué hicieron usando Past Simple. You have examples. I went to the movies. I played tennis. I read a book. I cleaned the windows. I went to a concert. I stayed home. So my question is, what did you do last weekend? Saturday, Sunday, yesterday, and the day before yesterday. What did you do? Tell me one sentence. Let's see. Using past simple. Mm 
easy, past simple. What can you say? I need a volunteer, please. No tengan miedo, no tengan vergüenza. Estamos aquí para aprender juntos. Mm -hmm. Kimberly wants to participate. Well, my weekend, um, I went to uh, a restaurant for lunch. Okay, good. Okay, so Kimberly went to a restaurant for lunch. Jessica. My weekend, uh, cleaning the house. Okay, I cleaned the house. Good, thank you, Jessica. Uh, Nady? I went to church. To church. Yep. Okay, I went to church. Good, thank you, Nady. Anyone else? We have more participants here. There's Rodrigo, Daniel, there's Ciro, Diego, Anthony, Rebecca, Alba, Carlos. Uh -huh. What can you say? Hicieron el fin de, cuéntenme, una oración, nada más. Para que utilicemos el past simple. Uh -huh. Nobody wants to participate today. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see. What did I do on the weekend? I worked. <laughs> I taught a class. Well, I taught two classes on Saturday. Then also on Saturday, I washed my clothes. I, what else? Um, I slept, okay, on Sunday afternoon. I watched TV. I uh, went to the supermarket. Let's see what else. And uh, I prepared classes. That was my weekend. So much fun. So. <laughs> Let's do this. So this is past simple. Again, when you tell me, for example, I went to a restaurant, I went to church, I cleaned the house, those actions have finished, okay? They are in the past, okay? What about this? There is a structure, okay? For affirmative forms, you say, Abraham worked in this company. My friends went to Mexico last month. What about the negative form? If you say Abraham worked in this company, what is the negative form? Who can tell me? Volunteer, please. Negative. You use didn't plus the verb in base form. Abraham worked becomes. ¿Cómo queda en negativo esa oración? Lo vimos la semana pasada. Jessica. Abraham didn't work in this company. Abraham didn't work in this company. Now, if you pay close attention, you will see that the verb is not in past anymore. The verb is in base form. Okay, thank you. Um, what about the second sentence? My friends went to Mexico last month. What is the negative form of this sentence? Sulma. Hey, good evening. Good evening. My friends uh, didn't go to Mexico last month. Good. Okay. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. That is correct. Again, if you notice, the verb is in base form, not in past form. Okay. Thank you very much. What about the question form? You use did plus the subject plus the verb in base form, and you finish with a question mark because it's a question. So Abraham worked in this company. What about this sentence? What is the question equivalent? Participants, please. Mm -hmm. Kimberly. The, the question is, did you work in this company? Did you work in this company? Okay, good. But you changed the subject. What about Abraham? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No problem. Second try. Okay, did Abraham work in this company? Uh -huh. Did Abraham work in this company? Again, the verb is in base form, not in past. Thank you, Kimberly. Sure. Uh, volunteer for the last one. My friends went to Mexico last month. Para que suene lógico, cambiémosle a uh, your friends. Si no se está preguntando usted mismo. Uh -huh. What is the correct, well, what is the question form? Somebody, please. Okay, Kimberly wants to participate again. All right, Kimberly. 
Did your friends go to Mexico last month? That is correct. Did your friends go to Mexico last month? Good. You use did, the auxiliary, then the subject, your friends, then the verb in base form, and then the rest to Mexico last month, and you finish with a question mark. Now, look at this. This is very important. Fíjense bien acá. La forma en pasado únicamente sucede en oraciones afirmativas. Si es negativa o si es una pregunta, el verbo regresa a su forma base. Entonces, ¿cómo reconocemos que es past simple? Fácil, porque dice didn't. Esto nos indica que es el pasado. Y en la pregunta está did. Esto nos indica también que es el pasado. Solo en la forma afirmativa se utiliza el verbo en su forma pasada. En la negativa y en la pregunta se usa la forma base. ¿Ok? But now, let's take a look at this. We use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. These are actions in progress, okay? What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Well, we asked these three people and they said, I was walking the dog. I was working at the office. I was doing exercise. I have a question, what were you doing Last Saturday at 10 a.m., I was teaching a class. <laughs> what were you doing? I need a volunteer. Veamos, sin miedo. Mm -hmm. Jessica, and then Kimberly, okay? I was working at the office. I was working at the office. Okay, Jessica was working at the office. Okay, uh, Kimberly, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Last Saturday at 10 a.m., I was taking a shower. I was taking a shower. Okay, good. Okay, great. Anyone else? Sulma. Okay, Sulma. And then uh, Alba. Okay, Sulma raised her hand and then Alma will participate. Okay, so Sulma first. I was uh, sleeping. I was sleeping. Yes. Okay, at 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Alba? I was swimming on the beach. Okay, I was swimming at the beach. Okay, good. Wow. Nice weekend. <laughs> okay, great. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Hay unos que están bien calladitos ahora. Vieron desganados porque es lunes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. So that's the idea. Now, those are actions in progress in the past, in a specific moment in the past. Okay. These are not completed actions. Okay. The past continuous. This is the structure. For the affirmative form, you use the subject. Then you need to use the auxiliary verb, which in this case is was or where, and then the verb in ing. Remember, you will use was for the subjects I, you, no, sorry, I, he, she, and it. Okay? Was is for I, he, she, and it. And where will be for you, we, and they. That's the idea. So you say, for example, Susan was watching TV. Why do we say Susan was? Because Susan is a lady. So it's like she was watching TV. Okay. The kids were playing baseball. Why do we say the kids were? Because the kids is, well, the kids is the equivalent of they. They were playing baseball. Okay, the kids were playing baseball. So you have to use was or were plus the verb in ing. That's the idea. But what about the negative form? The negative form is the subject plus wasn't or weren't. Okay, you have to be very careful. In past continuous, you don't use the auxiliary did. Mm -mm, never. Okay, you have to use the negative of the verb be, which is wasn't and weren't, and then the verb in ing. 
Fíjense bien en esto, con el past continuous, el verbo principal siempre va en ing, a diferencia del past simple, ¿verdad? Que el verbo, han pasado el verbo solo en oraciones afirmativas, pero en past continuous siempre va el verbo principal en ing, no importa si es afirmativa, negativa o pregunta. So what about the first one? Susan was watching TV. What is the negative form? Who can tell me? Kim. Susan uh, wasn't watching TV. Correct. Susan wasn't watching TV. Good. What about the second sentence? The kids were playing baseball. What is the negative form? The kids weren't playing baseball. The kids weren't playing baseball. Okay, that is good. Who said that? It was Ciro. Okay, thank you, Ciro. Uh, somebody was raising the hand. Who was raising the hand? Maybe alguien que está levantando la manita. Pero. No perdí. Ahí, lo siento. Okay, what about the question form? Okay, always remember, raise your hand. Raise your digital hand. Um, for the question form, you have to start with the auxiliary. Was or where? After that, you use the subject and then the verb in ing, and you finish, of course, with a question mark. So when you say Susan was watching TV, what is the question form? Sulma. Uh, was Susan uh, watching TV? Yes. Was Susan watching TV? Correct. That is good. Thank you. And what about the second sentence? The kids were playing baseball. Volunteer, please. What is the question form? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, Ciro. We're going with Ciro. Okay. Where is the, the kids playing baseball? Were the kids playing baseball? That is correct. Very good. So, yeah, you see, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. And now uh, let's take a look at this. We're going to do an exercise. But let me check something first. Something is confusing me right here. Oh, yeah. OK, um, we're going to create some breakout rooms for you to work with a partner. You're going to work in pairs for this activity. And what is the activity? This is your turn. Complete the sentences. Should be the sentences, sorry. This is plural. Let's see. Okay, complete the sentences and you have to choose from was looking, was raining, was wearing, was working, wasn't listening, were sitting, weren't looking, were you going? Okay, this is a copy paste exercise. You only need to select the correct form. Okay, you don't need to change anything. You just pick the correct answer and put it in the right place. Okay, I'm going to uh, send this to you via WhatsApp, but first we're going to create some breakout rooms. So I'm going to give you like five minutes for this. It's going to be very short. Let's see, well, how many people do we have? We have 17 counting me, so that means eight. Okay, here we go. First group will be Perla and Rodrigo Daniel. Second group, Maritza Guadalupe and Rodrigo Antonio. Third group, Kimberly and Zulma. Group four, Carlos Antonio and Diego Anthony, the two Antonis. Uh, group five, Jessica Rosales and Mayra Portillo. Group six, Alba and Sandra. Uh, group seven, Nady, Rebecca. And group eight, Ciro and Marvin. So uh, we're going to start the breakout rooms right now, and I'm going to send you this screen via WhatsApp. Let's begin. Everybody, you can now, everybody, you can now join the breakout rooms, please. And I'm going to send you the image via WhatsApp.
Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, Tim. Hi. Yeah. Okay, do you have the answer to number one? Today, Helen is wearing pants. But yesterday, she... Was wearing a skirt. She was wearing a skirt. That is good. Thank you very much. I'm going to jump into a different room now. Okay, please continue. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, one today Helen is wearing pan, pants. Yesterday she was wearing was wearing. Mm-hmm. Skirt. Ah, uh, a skirt. Good. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. El perrito ladrando ahí. Sí, ahí entre parejas con el perrito. Don't Pero worry. Pero ya, ya lo van a fallar. Ok. Ok. Um, I'm going to jump into a different room. See you later. Please continue. Muy bien. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hello, do, teacher. Do, hello you, teacher. do you have number two? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, we do, right? Okay. So, what did the teacher say? Uh, what did the teacher say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. That is correct. Okay, very good. I'm going to go into a different room now. Please continue. Okay. See you later. Okay, see you later. Este, enviaron una captura que tenemos que completarlo. Ya lo reviso. Hello. Sí, no, 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 no. Hello, hello, hello. Hola, eh, ahí mandamos, bueno, mandé una, una captura, ¿verdad? Al grupo de WhatsApp, del ejercicio. Como al entrar a los breakout rooms, inmediatamente se interrumpe la transmisión, la, bueno, la pantalla compartida, entonces, ahí está. No sé si ya tendrán la número dos o tres. Eh, yo, yo me voy conectando ahorita, vengo llegando, entonces no, 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 no sé la dinámica que están realizando Ajá. ahorita. Vaya. No hay problema. Lo único que hay que hacer es, si se fija en el grupo de WhatsApp y ve la imagen que he mandado, solamente hay que completar las oraciones con las expresiones que están en el cuadro azul. Oh, es un ejercicio de copiar y pegar nada más. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Bueno. I'm going to jump into a different room now. See you later. Sí, bye. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh -huh. What's in this thing? Hello, teacher. Hi. Do you have number three? Yes. Okay. Yes. Eh, la tenemos with where is it at the back of the room? With call it it well. Okay. Uh, sería, we were sitting, ¿verdad? At sí. the back mm -hmm. of the room. La pronunciación ahí, ¿verdad? We couldn't hear very well. Mm -hmm. With, with it. Cool. Okay. Correct answer. Okay, we were sitting at the back of the room. We couldn't hear well. Bueno, dice well, no very well, ¿verdad? Yo le puse el very uh -huh. sin querer. Okay, so. La costumbre. Okay. Um, Thank you. Uh, I'm going to jump into a different room now. See you later. See you later. See you later. Las repasamos. Hello. Hello. Ya terminamos. Ah, great. 
In English, <laughs> tell me in English. We finished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay. What about number four? And um, today Helen is wearing pants. Yesterday she was wearing a skirt. A skirt. A skirt. Okay, that that's good, but very good. But what about number four? Number four. Four. Mm -hmm. This this time last year James was working mm -hmm. in a restaurant. This time last year, James was working in a restaurant. Very good. Okay, ladies, I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay. See you. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Have you finished the exercise? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, sure. Can you tell me the answer to number five? They didn't see me. They weren't looking in my direction. Correct. Very good. They weren't looking in my direction. Great. Thank you. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. See you. Hello. Have you finished? Sure. We're finished. Good. Yeah. Can you tell me the answer to number eight? Number eight, mm -hmm. wait a minute, I'll put it in the picture. Number eight, this I saw Michael a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. he, he was looking for you. He was looking for you, very good. Míralo, mira, bien, bien cómodo, va a quedar dormido. Usted. Relajado, relajado. Bien, bien claro. relajado, bien relajado, lo veo. No, con, con, con la mente bien despierta. Así es, hay es. que relajarse para aprender. ¿no? Muy bien, muy bien. Así como está en clase uno anotando todo, no. Lo que va a aprender, lo va a aprender. Lo que no. Ok, that's good attitude. Okay, we're going to uh, finish the activity. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Okay. Bye. Okay, we're going to uh, close the breakout rooms now. So see you in one minute. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, number one, let's see. Today, Helen is wearing pants. Uh-huh, what about the rest? Sulma. Uh, today, Helen is wearing pants. Yesterday, uh, she was wearing a skirt, no sé cómo se dice. A skirt. A skirt, mm -hmm. skirt. That is correct. Yesterday she was wearing a skirt. Good, thank you. Okay, thank you. number two. What did the teacher say? Uh -huh. A volunteer, please. Need a participant. 
Rodrigo, Antonio. What did the teacher say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Number three, volunteer, please. Sandra. We were sitting at the back of the, of the room. We couldn't hear well. We couldn't hear well. Okay. We were sitting at the back of the room. We couldn't hear well. Great. Thank you, Sandra. That is correct. Number four. Maritza. The style last year Jimmy's yes. was working in restaurant. Good. That is the correct answer. This time last year, James was working in a restaurant. Thank you, Maritza. That is correct. Number five. Uh, Rodrigo. They didn't see me. They wasn't, um, they was, they was looking in my direction was looking mm, it's actually a little bit different let's see wasn't, wasn't looking wasn't looking it's a little bit different <laughs> let's see what alba has to say but thank you for participating um uh -huh. in six Number five. five. Number five. five. Yeah. They didn't see me. They weren't looking in, in my, my direction. direction. In my direction. Good. Okay. They didn't see me. They weren't looking in my direction. Okay. Good. Thank you. Marvin, what about number six? Number six. The word was bad. It was very cold and it was raining and it was raining okay good thank you very much what about number seven volunteer please raise your hand Who wants to try three people have raised their hands oh my god we have Rodrigo, Rebecca and okay we're going to give a chance to Rebecca okay Rebecca ladies first <laughs> I saw you in a taxi. Where were you going? Where were you going? That is good. Thank you. And number eight. Um, maybe Rodrigo Daniel wants to participate. I saw Michael a few minutes ago. He was looking for you. He was looking for you. That is correct. Very good. Okay. You see, it's not very difficult. But now it's time for us to combine the past simple and the past continuous. And this is the part that can be a little bit tricky, a little bit complicated, but don't worry. We're going to study this together, okay? Let's continue with this. Now we have past simple and past continuous. What is the difference? Let's take a look. Past simple, what did you do yesterday morning? We played tennis. We played tennis from 10 to 11.30. Let's take a look. We started at 10. We continue, we played tennis, played tennis, and we finished at 11.30, okay? Now, this is a complete activity. The question is, what did you do yesterday morning? We played tennis. We began, we finished, okay? We played tennis. Okay, that is good. What about the past continuous? What were you doing at 10.30? The answer is, we were playing tennis. Si ellos empezaron a las 10 y terminaron a las 11 y 30, significa que a las 10.30, se me fue mal un número acá, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 10.30. A las 10.30, la actividad estaba en progreso. No había terminado. Aún estaban jugando. So, what were you doing at 10.30? We were playing tennis. That is the difference. Past simple is for a complete action. 
task continuous is for an in incomplete action. It's an action in progress in a specific moment in the past. Let's see some more examples. When you say we played tennis, that's a complete action. But when you say we were playing tennis, that's an action in progress in a specific moment. Some more examples include Jack read a book yesterday. If you say that Jack read a book yesterday, that means from beginning to end. Lo leyó enterito. Okay. Jack read a book yesterday. But if you say Jack was reading a book when the phone rang. Okay. Estaba leyendo el libro cuando sonó el teléfono. No había terminado. Okay. So that's the difference. Another example. Did you watch the movie on TV last night? Were you watching TV when I called you? Okay. Were you watching TV when I called you? That's the thing. Okay. Did you watch the movie on TV last night? Complete action. Were you watching TV when I called you? Action in progress in a specific moment in the past. Before we continue, do you understand this? Or do you have questions? Is this clear? No questions? No teacher. Okay, no questions. Let's continue then. Now, look at this. You can say that something happened, that's past simple, in the middle of something else, that is past continuous. Se puede combinar en una sola oración el past simple y el past continuous. Example, Anna called me while we were having dinner. Me llamó mientras estábamos cenando. Okay, so Anna called me while we were having dinner. There are two actions here. The first is an action in progress. Vamos a ver si me pueden identificar esto. ¿Cuál de las dos acciones está called y we're having? Son dos acciones. ¿Cuál de ellas estaba en progreso? Rodrigo. We're having. We're dinner. having dinner, correct. We were having dinner was the action in progress. No habían terminado, estaban comiendo todavía. And what is the action that happened? What is the interrupting action? There's an interrupting action. What is it? ¿Cuál es la acción que interrumpió la acción en progreso? Okay, Rodrigo. Anna called. Anna called me, okay. Por ahí escuché a alguien más que me participó también. Gracias. Okay. Correct. Anna called me. That's the action that interrupted the action in progress. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. It looks better. Okay. So we have some more examples. It was raining when I got up. Estaba lloviendo cuando me levanté. I hurt my back while I was working in the gardens. Me lastimé la espalda mientras trabajaba en el jardín. So I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. So what is the action in progress? I was working in the garden mm -hmm, and then, okay, I hurt my back. Okay, so one action in progress and another action that interrupts the action. You have this. And it's very, very important. Fíjense bien en esto. Hay una clave para identificar también cuando es past continuous y cuando es past simple. Y todo se reduce, bueno, no se reduce, pero eh, hay un indicador fuerte, digamos, que sería when and while. Pay close attention to this. When introduces a clause in past simple. Por lo general, when va antes de past simple. Ok. While usually introduces a clause in past continuous. La clave está, si usted mira when, entonces ya sabe que lo que sigue, lo más seguro es que es en past simple. Si dice while, lo más seguro es que lo que va después va en past continuous. Se puede ocupar when con past continuous también, pero no es tan común. Lo más común es utilizar while. Y aquí tenemos ejemplos. 
Fíjese bien. We were having dinner when Matt called me. Okay. We were having dinner when Matt called me. All right. Tenemos when y qué es lo que sigue? Past simple. Como indicamos anteriormente. Ahora, esta oración usted la puede decir de otra manera. Se puede decir de dos formas. Podemos decir, Matt called me while we were having dinner. Y es el mismo significado. Se Matt me llamó mientras estábamos cenando. O puede decir usted, está, estábamos cenando cuando Matt me llamó. Las dos oraciones significan exactamente lo mismo. Solamente es el orden de las palabras el que cambia y el uso de when y while. Ok. Again, if you look, you use when and it introduces past simple. You use while and it introduces past continuous. What about this sentence? I was studying for a test when I heard a strange noise. Ok. ¿Quién me puede decir el equivalente, pero comenzando con I heard a strange noise? Sandra. I was studying for a test. Um, creo que, si me lo puede repetir, porque creo que lo primero no se le escuchó. Sandra. I, sorry, sorry. I heard a strange noise while I was studying, studying for a test. Let's see. Correct. Very good. I heard the strange noise while I was studying for a test. Very good. ¿Y qué significa la oración? Lo mismo que la primera. Solamente cambia el orden. Y como cambia el orden, también tenemos que cambiar la palabra when por while. Thank you, Sandra. Bueno, y hablando de Sandra, <laughs> sigue en la siguiente oración. Sandra finished the report while we were having lunch. Volunteer, please. Ahora hay que comenzar con we were having lunch. ¿Cómo quedaría? Ciro. Okay. We were having lunch. Sandra finished the report. Quiero ver si me quedó claro. While we were having lunch, Sandra finished the report. That's right. Yes, that is possible. Esa oración es posible. Sin embargo, eh, me gustaría que me diera la versión en la que se utiliza when. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa? Ok. We were having lunch. We were having lunch. When Sandra finished the report. Ok. We were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. Good. That is correct. Ok. La que me dijo al principio también estaba bien. Nada más que... Uh, jugábamos un poquito con el orden de las palabras, pero estaba bien. La segunda también. You say, we were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. Thank you, Ciro. And the last one. I saw Daniel while I was walking the dog. Volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Kimberly. And the sentence is, I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. Yes, that is correct. Very good. I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. Very good. That is great. Before we continue, because we have an exercise right now, do you have any questions? No questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. Excelente, claro como el agua. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Uy. No quiero pasar de ahí. Permítame. Ahí está. Hasta una respuesta salió ya. Okay, so your turn. Esta vez no nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Vamos a resolver directo por eh, el factor tiempo. Match the two halves of the sentences. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Bueno, 
tiene que completar la número uno, la oración, bueno, la primera parte de la oración uno con la segunda parte en el cuadrito verde. Ok, example. Well, not example, you tell me. Ok, díganme ustedes. When I arrived at the theater, ¿qué pasó ahí? When I arrived at the theater, you have to choose A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. F, teacher, my was waiting for me. My cousin was waiting for me. Yeah, that's number one. Good. Okay. When I arrived at the theater, my cousin was waiting for me. Good. What about number two? Thank you. Number two, we fell asleep. No dormimos. We fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Kim? Uh, is the E while, while we were traveling by bus? While we were traveling by bus. That is correct. Okay, good. What about number three? Robert learned to speak French. Ciro. Okay. And then Rodrigo. Rob, Robert learning to speak French when he was living in Paris. Okay, Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. Puede ser while. También como les explicaba, se puede ocupar when para past continuous, pero es menos común, pero es posible. So, Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. Good. Thank you. Um, I saw Rodrigo raising the hand. Do you want to take on number four? Or anyone else? Okay. Alex didn't come with us because he was studying for a test. Correct. Alex didn't come out with us because he was studying for a test. Thank you, Rodrigo. Very good. What about number five? Sandra. The car began to make a strange noise uh, when I was driving home. Driving home. That is correct. Okay, the car began to make a strange noise when I was driving home. Very good. Okay, great. And uh, number six, please, volunteer. Me, okay. teacher. Uh, who's me? Alba. Okay, Alba, we're going to yeah. give Alba a chance. The TV was some but no one was watching. The TV was on, but no one was watching. Correct. Very good. And the last one. Super fácil, la única que queda. Okay, number seven. When I first met Jocelyn, she was studying law at the university. Okay, finish that exercise right there. Okay, so what are you going to do? We don't have much time. Vamos a dejar esta actividad de tarea y vamos a proceder a la siguiente sección que podemos cubrir fácilmente en 10 minutos. Ok. Esto le va a quedar de tarea a usted. Fíjese bien. Your turn. Answer the following questions. It's only one question. Sorry. I'm going to delete this. That's not the instruction. Write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous. Aquí tengo un ejemplo yo. Veamos. On January 13th, 2001, si se acuerdan que pasó ese día, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Ok. Terremoto. Un terremoto ese día, ¿verdad? Bueno, esta es solo la idea que yo les doy. No tienen que hablar del terremoto si les trae malos recuerdos. Pueden decir cualquier otra cosa. Lo que quiero es que formulen una oración en el que de manera lógica se puede incorporar el past simple y el past continuous. Este solo es un ejemplo. Si usted quiere tomar este evento, when the earthquake began, puede hacerlo, no hay problema. Pero si quiere hablar de otra cosa, bienvenido. Ok, de nuevo tenemos, on January 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Ok, I was 15 years old, <laughs> I remember. So, yeah, it was a long time ago. I was 15 years old. So, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. Entonces, ¿cuál va a ser su tarea? Y es lo primero que vamos a revisar el día de mañana. 
Necesito que, por favor, escriba solo una oración en la cual implemente Pass Simple y Pass Continuous. Ahorita les voy a mandar esta captura para que les quede. Ya, antes que se me olvide. Si no termina la clase y no se los mando, se me va la onda, como decimos en buen salvadoreño. Okay. If you check your WhatsApp chat, uh, you will see this. Okay. And uh, please write that sentence. Tomorrow we will check. Le voy a preguntar a todos los que estén conectados. Okay. Let's continue. We don't have much time, but this uh, exercise is easy. In this class, you will learn some useful adverbs for telling stories. Okay. That's 2.3. If we go back to this. 2.3, this is the lesson objective, okay? And then we have this storytelling. Uh, there's a nice video with Miss Jessica explaining how to use this, but as usual, we have to explain it in a different way in the class. This is word power, storytelling. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend that you watch the video at home after the class, please, or tomorrow, as you wish. So what are we going to do? Take a look. Some adverbs are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which are neutral? Vamos a ver cuáles son. So, coincidentally, okay. Por coincidencia, digámoslo así. Fortunately, is afortunadamente. Luckily, por suerte. Miraculously, de milagro. Sadly, tristemente, strangely, extrañamente, suddenly, de repente, surprisingly, sorpresivamente, unexpectedly, de manera que nadie se esperaba, ¿verdad? Unfortunately, desafortunadamente. We're going to do an exercise here, okay? And the exercise is... You have to complete the sentences with the correct narrative adverb. You have an example. Y esto quiero que eh, se fijen bien, porque si es posible, en la tarea que les dejé, me gustaría que incorporaran estos adverbs. De ser posible. No es obligación incorporarlos, pero si los puede incorporar, mucho que mejor, porque ahí me enseña que he aprendido ambas cosas. Ok. Veamos. I was walking down the street when, sadly, unexpectedly, or unfortunately, I saw a celebrity. Which adverb is correct in this sentence? Volunteer, please. ¿Cuál de estos tres queda bien en ese espacio? Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly is... Inesperadamente, más bien. Unexpectedly. Inesperadamente. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Unexpectedly. Correct. Okay. I was walking down the street when unexpectedly I saw a celebrity. ¿Mm? Nadie se espera ver una celebridad a media calle, menos en El Salvador. Okay. So, unexpectedly, unexpectedly, I'm sorry, I saw a celebrity. Good. Let's go for number two. Now, I was walking down the street when... Coincidentally, luckily, or suddenly, I saw a car accident. Rodrigo. Suddenly. Suddenly. Let's see. That is correct. Very good. I was walking down the street when suddenly I saw a car accident. Great. Let's go for the next one. Two cars and a motorcycle crashed. Fortunately, Unfortunately, or unexpectedly, nobody was seriously hurt. Okay, we're going to give a chance to Ciro this time. Fortunately. Fortunately, nobody was seriously hurt. Let's see. That is correct. Oh. Very good. Okay, fortunately, nobody was seriously hurt. Great. Let us continue. Suddenly, surprisingly, 
or sadly, Martha won the lottery on her first try. Surprisingly. Okay, Maritza says, surprisingly. Let's check. That is correct. Very good. Surprisingly, Marta won the lottery on her first try. Imagínense, ganar la lotería al primer intento. Surprisingly, por supuesto. Okay, very good. Let's continue. What's next? My cousin fell from the fourth floor of an apartment building. Suddenly, unexpectedly, or miraculously, he survived. Sulma. And then uh, Kimberly goes for the next one. Miraculously. Miraculously. Okay, let's see. Miraculously, he survived. Let's see. That is correct. Very good. My cousin fell from the fourth floor of an apartment building. Miraculously, he survived. Wow. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's see, Kim was raising her hand. Okay, we're going to give her an opportunity for the next one. And this is the last one, by the way. Yes, el último. Veamos. An airplane was flying from Europe to Canada. Strangely, coincidentally, or unfortunately, it disappeared from the radar for 30 minutes. Strangely. Strangely. Let's see. That is correct. Very good. An airplane was flying from Europe to Canada. Strangely, it disappeared from the radar for 30 minutes. Correct. Very good. No mistakes in this exercise. All of you got the correct Lo answer. <laughs> Entró en el, la región del Triángulo de las Bermudas. Well, we don't know what mm -hmm. happened. <laughs> okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, now um, again, what is your homework? Your homework is you need to write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous. This is my example. On January 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes when the earthquake began. De nuevo, le digo, si usted no quiere ocupar esta parte, when the earthquake began, no es necesario. Puede ocuparla si quiere, pero si usted dice, no, eso me trae malos recuerdos, no, no lo ocupe. Puede ser cualquier otra cosa, okay? cualquier otro evento en su vida. La cuestión es que se utilice de forma lógica tanto el past continuous como el past simple. Y de ser posible, ¿verdad?, que podamos implementar uno de los adverbs que vimos en esta sección de storytelling, ¿verdad? Si usted puede implementar eso, mucho que mejor. Porque una cuestión es, digamos, eh, reconocer el adverb como el ejercicio que hemos estado haciendo, que es un poquito más fácil, y otra, pues, más complicado es ya utilizarlo uno en la oración. Entonces, eso es lo que quisiera que me pudieran demostrar para la siguiente clase. Una oración únicamente y al iniciar mañana con los que estén, vamos a revisar eso. De acuerdo. Um, before we finish, because it's nine, do you have any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. Okay. That is good. So if that is the case, then just uh, remember to study and complete the activities on let's see over here okay uh, there's a lesson objective past continuous versus simple past ya esa parte tendrían que irla completando there's a knowledge check okay eh, esta parte por supuesto tienen que completarla también si hay alguna duda mañana la vamos a aclarar okay eh, luego está el lesson objective que sería lo de adverse for telling stories luego está vocabulary storytelling les recomiendo, vean el video explicado por Miss Jessica y hasta ahí ok, tomorrow we're going to do this, tomorrow we're going to listen and practice a conversation where people are catching up on news, pay attention on the use of present, perfect, continuous and context, así que mañana comenzamos un tema gramatical nuevo Estemos ahí muy atentos. Les voy a pasar un videíto 
donde, que me encontré por ahí en que les ayuda a practicar el, la forma en pasado y past participle de los verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? Es como una canción, no tienen que cantarla necesariamente, pero con escucharla creo que se nos va quedando mejor. Ok, so everybody, thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye.